people have jumped on board because I think they're inherently good. They want to do something. They want to help solve this global crisis. It's basically put it out a call to all of the people in the world to say, here is what we're doing, send us on your expertise, send us on your ideas, help us develop these sorts of interventions as quickly as possible. We wanted to kind of develop these sorts of open source ventilators. We hope we never have to use them. We're confident we'll never have to use them in Ireland, but we can't say for certain that'll be the case in other countries. So you know what I mean? We're kind of leading this charge to develop these sorts of solutions. I normally have a workshop based in UCD in Dublin, but due to coronavirus and university lockdowns, I've moved my lab to the spare room in my apartment. So I've got 3D printers and manufacturing production facilities kind of set up in there just to do early prototyping and concepts so I can make these concepts yeah, into real objects so we can start kind of testing them and iterating this development process as quickly as we can. Whether it's Bray here in Ireland or anywhere else around the world, one of the challenges facing open source projects like this one is getting the approval of hospitals and the regulatory authorities. Medical devices are and should be very, very highly regulated. So the, the people we're working with and the kind of medical device designers we're working with, we're trying to develop these solutions and adhere to the regulatory paths and requirements as strictly as possible from the very beginning of the project. But what we're looking at is a very is an emergency intervention. You know, we, we never want this thing to be used, but if it is used, it's in a situation where there is maybe a countrywide or a global emergency. Emergency. So we're hoping in that case the regulatory bodies will work with us then to get these sort of validated and certified as quickly as possible.